Warte. Vital. Now in a brand new pack. Natalie Dutoy is one of the most accomplished athletes in the history of South Africa. She didn't let an incident in which she lost her leg many, many years ago get in the way of her accomplishing her goals of becoming one of the greatest swimmers in all of history. Let's find out what she has to say. With a multitude of medals and the honor of being the very first amputee ever to qualify for the Olympics, it's no surprise that Natalie has a disciplined training program. So what was your typical training day like preparing for London 2012? I went over to Italy. I was very fortunate to be part of the, the open water team um, in Italy, the national team. And so I traveled with them with the, within Italy and I stayed over in Italy for about eight months. And, um, you know, it was fantastic. Just putting six to eight hours in, we were part of that team. We worked together as a group and that was phenomenal. And, um, you know, when I didn't qualify for Olympics, it was time to start concentrating on the Paralympics. Being in Italy, you must have been surrounded by all these delectable morsels. So sticking to a strict diet must have been a bit difficult. I was very fortunate to be part of a, a family and so you know I would fit in with the family and every lunchtime they would make us only 100 grams of pasta you don't eat more um, you know salads um, vegetables everything was grown in the garden um, so from that perspective I was, I was, I was very fortunate and, and spoiled if I can call it that and so I loved a very balanced diet actually I actually lost weight in Italy and you know not by meaning to but just generally the way we ate of the healthier food options what was your favorite? I love beetroot um, and it's very, very good for iron as well. So from that perspective, especially as a woman, to, to have a lot of iron is important. You know, I love my salads um, as is a butternut. It's a bit carbohydrate packed, but cheeses, sometimes I, I crave cheese, but I can't eat too much of the dairy. Um, a bit of allergies, but if I eat a lot of junk food today, then tomorrow it'll be more healthy or, or cut down a lot. So yeah, it goes with life. Athletes and non-athletes actually have different nutritional requirements. You know, from a perspective, I'm just like anybody out there and I, I tend to not take vitamins every day of my life. Um, and, you know, Vital Gold has really helped in, this, in the aspect that you don't have to take it uh, a million tablets every day. You just take the one capsule and it keeps the levels more or less equal. London 2012 was your swan song. It's been a chapter of, of successes um, in my life, failures. Um, it's been a hard road and for me it's about, you know, being a different person and going out there and, and trying new things, trying different things and it's, it's as, as exciting as, as winning a gold medal, I guess. Most people yearn for the taste of Olympic glory, but not Shemendran. He was after the taste of an Olympic meal. Looks like we've got the ingredients for an Olympian salad. Here. It does indeed. And I think, wow, it's even been sliced and diced to, I think, perfect dimensions. Common wisdom is go from biggest to smallest. So we're going with the leaves, the we spinach will. leaves. I'm going to start with that. You're going to grab some spinach. We're doing it by hand. We can. We can. We can do the proper thing. <laughs> you can use your hands. I'll, I'll use my hands. <laughs> so one, by one. one by one. You can get your iron, B12, and all your B vitamins actually from leafy greens. What's next? Great. So I think probably we go for the beans. We just put some beans in. Obviously, these are just butter beans. Exactly. Good for proteins, especially for vegetarians. But next. I think we'll put some tomato in. Other than color, tomatoes are actually very high in lycopene, which is an enzyme that works as an antioxidant in your body, which is very, very good for keeping you young, healthy, and fit. Next, I think we should do the onions. Onions okay. or feta. At last, we'll put can the, we do the, the avo. avo. Please. Yes, we can do the avo. Please. Okay. I'm going to be an Italian, and uh, mm -hmm. I think pour olive oil all over the salad. Is this what they taught this you in is... nine months in Italy? So. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, this is, what shall we call it, what shall we call it? This is your mm. Olympian salad, there you are, go. Are you feeding me? I am okay. feeding you. <laughs> you could have used a smaller fork for <laughs> okay. For proving once again that healthy nutrition needn't be boring and bland, Natalie wins another goal in our cookbooks. Vital. Now in a brand new pack. I wanna live the best life.